Today in the wood yard, we're gonna be stacking, loading, hauling, and splitting. Coming up right now. So today we're gonna finish stacking this um, red pine right here that Caden's working on. We're gonna get this done because this was cut and split the other day and he's getting it stacked, so we're gonna do that. Then after we do this, we're gonna head over to the trailer and I got two pending orders. I mean, they're for sure orders. I just don't know which one will be first. One guy wants three face cords, so a full cord in the trailer. He's a longtime customer. He's been buying for like five or six years and he's retired. So I'm pretty sure he's home today. I left him a message saying I could deliver it today. So I think he'll get back to me. Then I got another guy who I sold to last year for the first time. He wants a full trailer load. He wants four um, face cords. So we're gonna get that loaded up. So I backed up the truck and trailer it over to the woodpile because that's the power we're going to take it from right over here. So that's got to get loaded. One of the two. So we're just going to throw three in and whichever guy gets a hold of me first is the guy that's going to get that load. And then after that, we're going to head over here to where we've been working on these piles of uh, white pine that we've been cutting that we cut all day yesterday. So right here, all of this, all this is going to be split because the Easton Maid is buried right underneath the uh, tarp there we're gonna dig that out and then we're gonna split as far into the pile as we can so that's what's gonna happen today so it's time to get busy right now go cool. So there it is, it is complete. The stack is stacked. How's it going today there, Caden? Best job I've ever had. That's what I thought you'd say. So there it is, we got, I think right around five face cords from what I can tell here. We didn't stack it real perfect because I just wanted to get it off the ground. And this stuff all be sold as campfire wood. So yeah, it's about, I think pretty much real, real close to five face cords, which is what I thought it was. So that pile is done. So now we're gonna go over and we're gonna put a load of wood on and we're gonna split after that so first i got to order for uh full cord three face cords the guy wants of oak and we're going to go load that right now and then we're done with that then we're going to start splitting so that's what's happening here we go again
So we just split for about an hour and a half and we're gonna take some lunch now, but we got a, a good start on the pile. We're moving right along. We're eating up the chunks and the machine is performing flawlessly. So we'll be back in a little bit and we'll keep going. Thank <laughs> you. 
bigger one? Longer. Longer? I'd like to stay narrow like this, because if you get them with the, the lower decks, with the axles on the other wheels on the outside of the bed, I can't get into a lot of garages then. There's a lot of people that like it, the fact that I can get into the garage. Well, yeah, I mean, even here, for example, if I got it laid up near the wood, I'd say, hey, dump it in the garage, leave the door open, it's just whatever it is. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I'd like to get one longer just because that way I could, because if I load this really full, I can get four and a half face cords in here and then a half cord in there. And that's that's about as much as you want to haul. Yes. If, I got a, if I got a bigger one, I could haul two full cords. That's what I'd like to do. I'd like to be able to do that. Because I've got about maybe 10, 12, 15 people a year that will get like eight or 10 or 12 because they heat with it. So I make, I make multiple trips, which I still would have to, but. Well, I don't know. It, it works. This works good. I can get enough in here. Yeah. <laughs> Most people get what you get two to three face cords a year. That's pretty normal. Yeah. Well, I was again, I went to let you know, and I thought, sooner is better than later. Yeah. Yeah. I started delivering already about a month ago. I haven't even advertised. Yeah. People that just wanted to get it because they want to get it because I run out sometimes and they want to get extra. So. Yeah. yeah. I've had a couple guys that get two full loads right away because then they're set and they just want to make sure they get it. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me climb up in I started to do too, dude. Whenever we go camping and people stay with us, they say, Here, I say, Hey, thank you very much. You didn't have to do that. So you just saw I just uh, shoved off a load into Joe's garage there. He's been buying wood for me for at least five years, I would say. He gets a full cord every year. Sometimes he'll get another face cord or two if he runs low. Um, he He's a, a guy that would love to be able to cut firewood, but he can't. He's got COPD, so he can only do physical exercise for a, a very short time. 
and uh, he wanted it in his garage because it's going to take him a couple days to get that stacked in his garage because he said he can only work a little bit at a time so what I had did for him and I do for a few other people is I back into the garage like you saw I tip up the trailer as far as I can and I shove wood off into the garage instead of dumping it in his driveway because obviously I can't tip the trailer up high enough uh, in his garage to dump the whole thing um, so I do a little bit like I did and uh, Works out good for him, he's happy. A lot of people I do this for really appreciate it. Um, he gave me a $10 tip, happens all the time when I do that for people. So it's that extra service is why I get um, some of the customers that I get and keep them. Um, because he told me, he said, I could charge twice as much for my wood because it's good wood. And he says, I always show up on time. And he says, I, I would love to do it myself, but I can't. And he says, I know how much work it is. And he said, I gladly pay more. He says, you should raise your prices. I said, well, I said, I, I might a little bit, but I said, I, was, I still want to sell out every year. I don't want to be sitting on wood because I want to turn it over. So anyway, real nice guy, and uh, that was Joe. There you go. Back to the wood yard now. Splitting for today has ended. I've got work I got to get done on my other business, but we got a bunch done. We started here this morning splitting and we got a bunch done. The splitter, the Easton Made Ultra worked like a champ. Just kept going. There's Cookie and Woody back there. They had a good time today. And uh, here is a tired boy. What do you think? Best job I've ever had. That's what I thought he would say. So we got all this left to go. And uh, tomorrow we hope to get a bunch more of this done because uh, we only have about I don't know like four or five hours or something like that tomorrow is all we're gonna have because I got appointments I have to do in the afternoon but we got a bunch done and we're just gonna keep going that direction so I want to get this done back here because I want to do a whole nother truckload maybe two right in this area and I want that to be oak because I got a bunch of art uh, barkless oak that I can get and I'd like to get that done as fast as possible because that takes a little longer to dry than this uh, pine because this pine will be dry in about 10 minutes because it's that uh, East Coast hardwood. No, West Coast, West Coast, that's what it is. So anyway, that's it for today. Hit the like, subscribe button, you know what to do. Hit the bell, all that good stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow right back here in the wood yard.